Hey guys, grab your graphic pen tablet and device, open Photoshop and follow me here is the step by step tutorial of how to paint this raspberry fruit from scratch. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to don't miss a video update and you will, I will be coming every week to paint such interesting things and how to tutorials for how to digitally paint in Photoshop for completely beginners. So let's open the Photoshop and start with painting our basic sketch. I'm be using here the hard drum brush and without thinking too much I'm just on one layer I'm just painting here scratching up like this a nice composition that could make me a fair idea for how my result could be looking. So these lines are for the leaves and you can see the shapes for the fruit. So I'm making a new layer and uh, lowering down the opacity of the earlier one so that I could make a much fairer sketch based on this random idea. So here I'm making a much fair sketch like this. And this time making a little more detail in the texture of the fruit. Making the each of the berries outline like this. It don't need to be too much on specific. Go as specific as you could rest it's will be good to go we will be adding some more details and aspects further on also so just randomly sketching up areas or leaving the rest of the two i'm just focusing on one of the fruit we could use the power of photoshop in the further steps to duplicate our work and so I'm making one more new layer and this time I'm going to paint with a light pink color. I'm just going to reduce the saturation so that I get a nice white pink like this. And a little bit zooming in I can see much more clear way like how to place the edges of the beans so you can see just painting a nice survey on the each layer by each step I am just increasing my intricacy of the product rest of the two layers are just for the idea of what our sketch gonna look like and this pink from this pink layer this pink outline I'm going to start building our artwork so you can see this is much more modified much more clear way looking of the shape I'm not gonna paint the border lines for with this I'm just paint with the front edges of the beans so that it gets into a shape so once we are done with this now I'm just going to the below layer of the sketch I'm just erasing the rest of the two and making a new layer by just control J and I'm just placing it over here for a rough idea of how our fruit will be looking in the composition. You could do this step or you could just leave this step like this and now I'm going to make uh, one more new layer and drag it down with the darker pink color or let's say a darker pink hue. I'm going to paint the base of our fruit. So for that 
I am having a new layer that's below all the above pink light pink layers so that I could easily paint without hampering our earlier thing and we would be easily able to see how our texture how our shape has built up so making an outline with that particular shape in this form and just with a color fill bucket I'm just filling it inside now with the eraser tool I'm just erasing the outer edges a quick tip hit control and hit on the layer thumbnail like this it's selected over that area and I'm just simply erasing the outer edges make sure it's not going inside otherwise it would be deleting those areas too once you are pretty done with this just control D to deselect or you can just even more go ahead and paint on the areas where you have extra erased the things I think I'm quite pretty done with the base color base structure of our my fruit so now I'm just going to change my brush to a soft round brush again with a new layer in place and a little darker color add just a color like this and here I'm painting above the base color layer so that it's visible and it's also on a different layer so that we can edit it any time we would like I'm painting the inner shadow My brush properties are 100% opacity, 100% flow and the mode is normal so it's quite visible that it's a darker shape inside then the light is outside now it's time to paint on the fruit berries so I'm just painting with a lighter hue like this now I'm painting with a darker tone of that same pink so that our berries hold a particular different shapes remember that I'm not painting on the layer that's either on the base color layer or on the berries structure pink layer no I'm making another different layer and painting on that so that it's all kept on different places like this you can see here we our berries are getting defined in much more way better way than before they are now holding particular different shapes I'm using that same soft brown brush and painting it completely I'm picking that same pink color that I have used for painting the edges of the berries and now with another another layer above that the before layers I'm just painting the white shine for the berries like this you could paint your own shapes your own way for the berries to reflect lights because you as you can see in real life these uh, natural things have a texture have a glance of its own so just trying to replicate that effect in the painting so you can see how nicely it's coming up I'm just lowering down the opacity of this particular layer I think a good of 50 to 60 percent is quite good and now with another new layer I'm going to paint with the soft round brush only or you can choose to paint with the hard round brush 
This time the color would be white, complete white color so that this will be reflecting the sparking highlights, the spot highlights that might be on the uh, reflecting areas on the berries. You can place it, hold the fruit and see how the light reflects. So that's effect I'm gonna create here. You can see I'm using the soft round brush and just painting like a small circle areas so that these are the spot highlight areas for each of the berries. Don't necessarily that they are in one only one direction or they could be in multiple directions. They could have multiple size also because it's a very organic thing. So think according to that and paint. So once done with all the things, now I'm just switching to our, I'm changing its blend mode to multiply or else you could delete it also. But I think with this only, it's looking very, very great. So now it's time to finalize our artwork. So go back to the second layer that we did above the base layer. I'm just play, painting over there the beside areas. There also are some berries, but they will be out of focus. So painting with a soft round brush with a lighter hue so that it makes a shape of collected berries over there like this. So I'm just blending it in and again with the darker color or you can just go to the color swatch and increase the darkness of that color. And paint inside so that it gives a much more value. Blend it nice. Now you can see from far also I can understand that it's a hole inside and then there is a collection of berries. So this is what I want to achieve and now I'm just going to select all of the layers that I have painted with. But for that I'm just holding shift and selecting all those layers and holding control if a layer in between just click on that it will be deselected. Control G for group, control J for copy. And I'm just placing it according to what I have thought for my composition. So I'm just placing it, duplicating and placing it like that. Use the Ctrl T transform tool for rotating and placing it. Hit OK. Again, I'm making a third copy and placing it on the third area. Adjust the layers according to that. On the third one, at the top one, I'm using the hard round brush and erasing it or you can say masking it so that our subject don't get hampered I'm just simply masking it for masking I'm using the mask layer thumbnail from below and selecting that thumbnail I'm painting with the black color so that because black hides and white shows so our composition is exactly the way I want now making a new layer in between all of those groups so that I could paint the shadows in between. For that, I am going to use the soft round brush with a darker color. Or you could use a black too, but I would suggest to be in the color of the berries only, a darker tone. If you feel that it's too dark, you could just lower the opacity of the layer or you can also lower the opacity of the brush before painting. Now again making a new layer in between earlier those and just painting the shadows that these two might be having in between. 
So once done with the painting shadows, it's time to add the leaf structures and for that I'm just making a shape from using the brush tool only and that particular color with a G shortcut color fill. I'm just painting it inside, filling it up and you can see we are pretty done with our style of composition and for making the enhanced shadows I'm just holding the control and clicking on the layer, that layer thumbnail of leaves just selecting it all and painting with a darker color of green I hope you guys are getting clearer and clearer on how to paint in digital photoshop and if yes then do let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to help you if you have any issues running it inside once you are done with painting the leaves, you could just hit Ctrl D for deselection and it's time to add the final shadow of the whole composition that might be on the base. So for that I'm just using the color of the berries again and with a darker tone and a lighter version of it. Like this as you can see our color, I'm just painting with the lower opacity also so that I could control how much shadow you're gonna paint on which area. We are pretty much done with our today's digital artwork. So I hope you guys are happy with it. And if yes, do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that for the further videos, you don't get missed.